To run comps on PropStream, you'll first want to go to the details of the subject property. Once in the property's details, locate the comparables in nearby listings tab. From this point, you will have the ability to use public record comps or MLS comps, maybe even both. Public record comps are officially recorded sales from the county's office. MLS comps are listings pulled from the local MLS, showing investors sold properties usually before the county records it. It will also show the MLS sell amounts for investors running comps in non-disclosure states. These are states where the county does not provide the sell amount to the public when a property is sold. Within the public record comps are several filters you can use to find the most accurate comps possible. These filters will allow you to adjust the sell date range, apply a minimum and maximum bedroom, bathroom, year built, and square footage. You may also choose the property class, such as residential, commercial, and many more, along with the property type and all the potential sub labels. The sell situation will let you see a certain transaction type, such as what cash buyers are buying properties for in the area. Finally, you can also increase or decrease the distance, along with include or exclude multi-parcel cells, and even identify properties with one or more subdivision. For this property, we're going to be looking for comps with four bedrooms and three bathrooms that have 1,800 to 2,100 square footage. The property class will be residential, and the property type will be single family. Once all your variables have been applied, your filtered results will now be listed on the right. From here, you'll be able to see how many results have been identified, the average sell price, and the average price per square foot. The summary values will change based on the comp selected below. Now within the comps results, you'll be able to click and see the photos of the properties that have sold, along with important information such as the sell amount, sell date, and property characteristics. Headers can also be moved around to any desired location and customized by selecting the edit column icon. Once you've identified the best possible comps, selecting view report will allow you to generate a comparable sell report. You can also select add to list to create a marketing list or save to create a group. In the MLS comps section, you'll have the same filters as the public record comps. The slight difference is that you'll be able to choose the MLS status. By default, you'll be shown all the sold listings but feel free to see active, contingent, failed, and pending listings as well. As you apply your filters, your results will be listed on the right-hand side, with the amount of results identified, the average sell price, the average price per square foot, and the days on market. Like public comps, you will be shown photos of the properties listed, property characteristics, adjust and have the ability to customize column headers, but most importantly, you'll be able to see the MLS date, and MLS amount. From here, you'll be able to create a marketing list by selecting Add to List or Save to Create a Group, or you may click on each individual comp, view the property details, and print the details of the property by clicking on the Print button at the top. Using both public record comps and MLS comps along with these filters will allow you to really isolate recently sold properties that are nearly identical to the subject property. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.